Hello everyone, uh, I am building an Ethereum uh, mining rig and I've been building it for a while. Uh, there's some, I'm gonna put some images in. But anyways, uh, today I got some GPU risers. Uh, since the GPUs, the graphics cards cannot fit in your motherboard, you need these riser cards, which actually are pretty cool. Um, so this one, I was so excited, I just had to pull it out of the bag. So I got uh, I got a total of six of these in all these electrostatic bags. And so, um, I don't know, I'm just gonna play with them and I thought I might as well make a video of it. So I'm just gonna grab a new one because, you know, I have them now. Um, just go ahead and take this out. So I didn't know like exactly what these come with. This is my first time building an Ethereum mining rig. So that can be annoying. Um, so just you know, there's some parts. Um, so this this plugs into the motherboard, and then it connects via USB, which I thought was interesting. I wouldn't have expected this, but. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that works. I, I do a lot with computers, but this doesn't make sense to me exactly because there's no computer chip to convert the PCIe to this USB connection. So that's kind of odd. But anyways, this just plugs in here. So now um, your graphics card just uses a very small space on the motherboard um, instead of if you plugged it directly in the motherboard, it uses all of this and usually a bit more. Uh, I have a pretty beefy graphics card here. It is huge. And so, <laughs> you, you plug this guy in, uh, like, oh, see I, see, I haven't done this before. There you go, so you, okay, so you, you pop this up like that, all right. And then you, you plug your graphics card in, and you pop that back in, now it won't come out, it's pretty stable. And um, bottom, bottom, it's like, protected, so just set that. So now this big, giant graphics card, which actually uses two slots on your PC, just uses a small space, which is great for mining, because now you can fit not, you know, two cards in a rig, but like, you know, 13 cards um, with some of the really crazy motherboards they come out with. The only problem is if you want like 13 graphics cards, um, you need to power all of them. And all the graphics cards have, most of them have these connections. If not, they're just powered directly by this PCI slot here. And your power supply doesn't, oftentimes doesn't have enough of these, like, little cables coming off of it to power 13 of these. So, you know, it plugs, like, in, oh, you can't see it. There we go. So, like, it'll plug into here, or in this case, of so the riser, uh, into here like this port but if you take your power supply just move these over it's just like just some power supply salvaged from an old computer um you you this one doesn't even have any of them you know you can't power your your graphics card if you don't have one of these but what's great is um what i found I think this is it, um, is I didn't expect them, these risers to have this, but each one comes with its own, like, uh, little adapter cable. Granted, it's only one of them, so you couldn't really power a lot of these cards, but now you can um, take one of these SATA connectors, which is actually for hard drives um, or SSDs, depending on what you're using, plug them in, and now you have one of these. Uh, which is really cool. I didn't expect that. However, that will make everything a lot better. So you just plug that in there, and now you've got power for a smaller card. If you need, if you have a bigger card like this, um, you'd need two of these and two of these SATA ports. But then you just um, plug it into here, and so that is pretty cool. Um, so these um, not only are really snazzy and cool looking, but um, they are more useful than I expect them to be, and they're, um, I don't know, I really like them. Alright, I am going to install all of these 
riser cards on my actual mining rig. I love building like all these machines. Like for some reason, there's a, a satisfaction for me in building big computers and machines and stuff. I just love building things. So, um, anyways, I want to build as much of this as fast as possible. So when you put these on, uh, the first thing you got to do is pop that up. And I've never built mining rig before, so I might like be doing things a bit inefficiently. But basically, I'm just going to put the riser card up on it and then push that little thing back. The USBs are actually in the back. But, so we have this. So you have your PCIe slots in here. So push that in. Wow, that is really close fitting. I didn't expect that. If you look right here, it's kind of hard to see, but the the edge of the USB connector is really close to your next PCI. Wow, that's kind of crazy. It looks like it's gonna work, but that's <laughs> almost too close for comfort. Okay, anyways, back to um, actually building this thing. So we'll take our USB, we just plug it in, and then um, the thing actually needs power. So each card, uh, I'm, these are GTX 1050 Ti's, um, they're close to being the most profitable card, especially long term, uh, and so that's why I picked it. And also, it's a pretty cheap investment. Um, this is just a power supply until I, I'm using until I can get like an actually good power supply, um, which the one that I want is like 300 bucks. So I just want to wait a little bit before I get it. And so uh, then we just take the power connector here and connect it to our, our SATA connector. And then it goes, unfortunately, onto the back. I'd love to show you, like, on the front, but, well, so that's connected. All right, so I connected all of the uh, graphics cards. I didn't want to bore you with, like, you know, just connecting up six graphics cards. Um, it's not a good video if I did that. So anyways, I connected the power supply now. Um, I learned that this power supply, I didn't give it much thought because I was going to use a different power supply and just things went wrong with the order, so I just had to get a refund. Um, but anyways, the graphics card, or sorry, the, the power supply does not support all these graphics cards, even with those, like, um, adapter cables. <clears throat> so, uh, if I go and look behind here, um, kind of hard to see, but the, the PSU, uh, let's focus the camera better, the, the PSU only has four SATA power ports, which means that I can only f mine really, I might only be able to mine with four cards. Um, I might be really lucky and the USBs actually supply enough power from the motherboard, but I doubt that that will happen. So um, now I have these ports which are not connected. And of course I need more um, risers. Those are on the way and they're gonna arrive. Um, but anyways, so far, the rig is looking good. Um, that's it from behind. I'll go back to the forward view. And, um, yeah, I don't know. There's something really cool about building big machines, and so i uh, really having fun with this. All right, I thought I might as well test these um, at the end of the video. And so I already hooked it up, and uh, when I turn on the computer, I may, uh, I haven't seen anything happen. So I'm going to be uh, trying to debug that. But the graphics card's fan turns on, so that's good. But nothing else seems to happen. 
which could be something with like some kind of configuration but i see you have i have no way to test really um but the computer seems to be turning on so let's see vga output which goes to this monitor. Let's see, can you see that monitor? Uh, we'll be able to see it. It's this ancient compact monitor. We might be getting a nope, no video signal. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, I'm gonna try something else. So the port had the, um, let's see, I'll show you this again. This PCIe riser plugged into was a different uh, slot, which shouldn't affect anything for the BIOS. For Windows, it might, but I'm going to try plugging it in to the actual graphics card slot. Maybe that'll make it work. Okay. Computers going. Me... See what was that? It was like a flash there. I know the card works. I know the. Oh, what's this? So the PCIe risers work. It's just something weird with the configuration um, with Windows, I think. So that's awesome. So the PCIe risers work. Um, so hey, there we go. <laughs> I took my uh, old Toshiba laptop hard drive, copied it over to an SSD, well, cloned it, and then put it on desktop, and actually got it to work, despite Windows. All right, thank you for watching, have a great day, and um, I'll post the link to the risers in case you want to check them out for yourself um, under in the product description.